effective immediately, all P-12 schools and daycares in Illinois must follow the CDC guidance of universal masking inside, regardless of vaccine status. It's official. There are new rules mandating masks in public schools statewide. Good evening. I'm Jennifer Roscoe. Now, for some districts, it won't be a change because they had already decided to require masks. But for others, masks weren't a requirement, vaccinated or not. WCI3's Mark Maxwell is live in Springfield, our Capitol Bureau Chief, with the very latest. And Mark, this has really become a huge debate in communities and some school board meetings getting pretty heated. Jennifer, school districts in Champaign, Springfield, Peoria, Chicago, and a number of others had already decided that if you were unvaccinated, you had to wear a mask in this upcoming school year. But there were other school districts that paid no heed to CDC recommendations and felt pressure from angry parents, instead opting to lift all requirements to wear a mask, even if the students or staff were unvaccinated. Now, as new information emerges showing just how contagious this Delta variant is, the governor is once again issuing a statewide mask mandate for schools, saying if districts defy the state's orders, they could face a lawsuit for exposing kids to risk, or the State Board of Education could strip their certification with Illinois. At the same time, the state is also moving to require some government employees to get vaccinated. Illinois will require vaccinations for all state employees who work in congregate facilities, such as our veterans homes, our corrections facilities, and the Department of Human Services developmental centers and psychiatric hospitals. The governor setting that deadline for October. AFSCME, the largest public sector union, responding, saying they're willing to negotiate that into their contract. Teachers unions also welcoming the mask mandate, but say they will not be required to get the vaccine, not yet anyways. Pritzker said uh, any restrictions on businesses or capacity limits are not on the table, not at this time. He stressed we have other tools, new tools to fight the pandemic, namely the vaccine. He's urging people to get vaccinated. At the same time, more employers, including big hospitals, are doing just that, requiring their workforce to get the vaccine or risk losing their job. Jennifer. Okay, Mark, I want to go back to schools. You, he said pre-K through 12. Uh, what about private schools? Uh, the governor's office told us that some private schools do get uh, state or federal funding. They could risk losing that. Others also get state recognition. They could risk losing that or expose themselves to lawsuits just the same as public schools if they don't follow these rules. And what are Republicans saying after the announcement today, Mark? Yeah, good question. House Republican Leader Jim Durkin uh, said that Governor Pritzker is on a power trip. Senate Republican Leader Dan McConkie saying that the governor continues to go it alone. Illinois Republican Party calling on Pritzker to take political ads off the air. They say he was too quick to say mission accomplished on the coronavirus. The governor said he hasn't declared the job done yet and called on Republicans to encourage their voters to get the vaccine as well. All right, we'll see what uh, school districts do after this. Mark, thank you so much.